What's going on, y'all? Attorney Tom here. Today, we are reacting to TikToks that should be illegal. My editors have put together a compilation of TikToks that were trending this week, and I am going to react to them. As always, we're going to save the worst TikTok or the best TikTok. I don't know. We're going to save the most interesting TikTok for the end, so make sure you stick around. Let's jump right into it. That was a great intro. Listen to the rope smack her. Okay. <laughs> that is gonna hurt really bad. Is that a case? Is there a case there? Again, it's gonna depend on, you know, was she on a private premises? Who's the premises owner? Who's in charge of the rope? Maybe you can make an argument that the rope was too long. Is it foreseeable if you have a rope that long that it can whiplash? Were people hurt in the past from this particular instance? As always, it depends. But, I mean, that definitely hurt. Oh! Playing a game of whack here. Whack. <laughs> what was that? Game of whack. Whack. What? Was that? What did they do? Why did it explode? I mean, there are so many possibilities for a lawsuit here product defect what type of product defect is it a design defect or was this just a one-off weird instance or was it operator error that i don't know because i don't know what they did even if it was operator error you'd think there'd be some sort of protective measure to not have an explosion like that happen i think this is definitely some sort of product liability case hey guys i just wanted to share some really good news with you so um the pepper that i'm eating actually has a bug inside of it with eggs i'm really excited about this opportunity so uh that's gross <laughs> whoa whoa pick up <laughs> wow well they're almost certainly would not be a case if he got hurt there because assumption of the risk he's in a house that they were trying to tear down i shouldn't say that it was, it's just gonna depend you know is he working for somebody was he told to kick down the door or kick down the wall just from the optics of it it's probably a hard case a lot of close calls tonight that was pretty funny i mean the guy's jaywalking like he's jaywalking then he gets sassy with the car he's trying to be the tough guy oh, yeah where's my hammer Now, I can almost promise you there's some sort of waiver these uh, racers signed or their parents signed before going on the on the track. But it's almost just one of those things where, you know, the, there is some inherent danger in go-kart racing. Now, that doesn't mean it's okay to run somebody into the wall. But then, you know, I, if you're the lawyer representing this kid who got hurt, you have to be able to overcome the defense of, it was just a racing incident. This was foreseeable. This was probably in the waiver that they signed. So, but it looks like he landed. He looks like he was okay because he landed upside, the right side up. What a dumbass. I don't want to be that guy. Everybody knows a Jeep person. Like a Ew. hardcore Jeep person. Not like... Wait, See, look at this. Look at this. Okay. My my girlfriend's upset. Rachel, I'm not talking about... I'm like... like I'm talking about the... I'm talking about the douchebags who have like the stupid Jeeps. My girlfriend's upset at me because she used to drive a Jeep, Jeep Wrangler. And she loved the Jeep Wrangler because she did the Jeep wave. I mean, look at this, look at this thing. I mean, it's got all this aftermarket stuff on it. 
He thinks he's so cool because he can go over curbs and go take it off roading because that's what Jeep people do. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you're lying. I think they might have been trying to do that. I don't know. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. Why else would you tie? Look, there's cinder blocks, so they clearly didn't want the trailer to move. Yeah, no, you know what? I'm sticking by my original assumption. They tried to do this. They were trying to destroy it. I mean, they didn't think that this thing was going to come off cleanly. At least I hope. Wait till the end. Sound. Oh, oh, Someone, something dropped off. Something fell in the water? Yeah, right there. Oh, what the is that? Oh, no, what the hell? We about to run over that bitch. Oh, oh this bitch finna explode on my mama. Back the out there. Oh, Tax dollars, baby. I wonder if that was a fuel tank or a bomb. I don't know. But it was expensive, whatever it was. Wow, it's so pretty up here. All right, fake. See, look, look, y'all, I'm getting better at this. Pretty up here. I mean, that was fake, right? I was too gullible at the beginning and y'all keep telling me everything's fake. So I'm calling it out. I think this one's fake. This actually happened on Norwegian Nation <laughs> White Television. That was impressive. This actually happened on Norwegian <laughs> That kid probably did that on purpose. Let's be real. That was pretty fun. <laughs> What? <laughs> this is just like that crab crab rave song. Look at all of them. They're escaping. <laughs> That was awesome. That's hilarious. That's not fake. Me in a parking lot, bro. We about to be paid. Play that, bro. Play that. You already know the vibes. Bro, what the? <laughs> you lying? No, no, no. Y'all hit me. Y'all hit me. Y'all hit. What is he doing? <laughs> well, that's a great case. First of all, you can only recover damages if it's not your fault a baby driving is probably the baby's fault because it's a baby the other thing that i would say this is insurance fraud <laughs> if you're not actually hurt me, y'all hit me y'all hit what is he doing in the front seat nah, oh my bro, i saw you hit them bro not you again you no bro they hit me they hit me bro look he crying because they know he did it <laughs> are you serious ah <sighs> uh. Cat steals fashion runway. I love cats. Cats are just amazing. Cats are the best. Daddy. What? <laughs> oh my god. Daddy. He's okay. He's okay. Why was she filming? Why was she filming? Maybe fake? What do we think? Y'all are y'all are teaching me to be pessimistic. Why was she filming? Inside job. Doing a video interview that you only get one chance to get right. Accidentally started recording early. Okay, so the question is, stupid cheesiest question I've ever read in my life. All right, what is your impression of Sky West company culture and how does that resonate with you? So we at work were just talking about mission statements. You know how like every company has a mission statement? Yeah, like what they stand for. Yeah, so anyway, so I was gonna say, but I just can't like word this correctly. And I'm like, you have to record yourself saying it, so it's so awkward. Right. But anyway, 
right, so I was going to say, um, my impression of Sky West's culture is based off of the mission statement that you guys have. Wait, hold on. Let me say it. Hold on. Let me practice. I'm going to set you down. Okay, so I was going to say. Oh, no. That is hilarious. Oh, no. This is real. We all know this is real. And honestly, corporate culture, 99.9% .9 of them is such BS. What kind of question is that? Your corporate culture? But that sucks. She's not getting the job. She's for sure not getting the job. It's a BS question, but she's definitely not getting the job. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize it was recording. I was practicing. So I was going to say, sorry. <laughs> the best thing to do there is just, 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 just leave, you know? Just give up. Just leave. No, you know what? That's okay. He's a catastrophic injury attorney who accidentally became a YouTuber. Attorney Tom.